Hello there, I am Badgerlo, and welcome back to the Battle of Kursk. Today I'm going to be playing through more of this epic mission and starting a mass counter-offensive in the north to relieve the other units suppressing the Russians in the salient. Now, at our disposal we did receive reinforcements, luckily, and any units remaining of Army Group North are still occupying this town, so you can use them to press forward. Our objective is the capture of this town here, as you can see. The Russians have a few artillery positions, uh, buildings, stuff like that will clear out. And obviously this trench line is ridiculously long. It connects to Army Group West over here, which have had a good go at clearing the Russians from all these trenches. I think the bulk of their forces is here on the corner. Army Group South is in a current state of disrepair, lack of fuel, ammunition, that sort of thing. They're not really combat effective. They're like probably like 30% combat strength. Half their tanks have no ammunition, no, no fuel, as you can see. So I'm currently trying to alleviate this problem by fueling up some tankers. But we will also need ammunition, which we also have a lack of. But for now, let's focus on the north of the map and see what we can achieve. Now, ideally, this area is clear, but it, the entire thing looks like a minefield. So we want to pick one position and go through it. Obviously these trenches sit on the flank of any advance towards this bunker and the road. is obviously under range of all Russian guns. So essentially we can attack straight through the middle here and carve out a nice little area for us. So to do so... I'm going to position all the guys. I'm going to keep the resupply trucks and trucks safe. Hmm. If we can get some of these supplies to the south, that would also be marvellous. You have a wide range of tanks here. Um, also got the SDKFZ, the Sunderkraftbeel Zug, with the 75mm gun. Probably uh, I'm messing up the German pronunciation, but you know. I'm not sure if we received an officer or anything. Either. I know we got a few people, Porsche Jaegers with FG 42s. They will be useful. We also got some siege mortars. We'll take them. A lot of anti tank weapons, a few spare crew, a lot of anti aircraft guns, and fuel. Yeah, so Army Group North is the most well equipped at the minute. You could see that change after our assault, of course. And I'm just lining everyone up to start shelling the trenches while I get an officer. The Pack 43 is an immensely powerful gun. It can deal with most of these Russian vehicles. But of course, what's going to happen is it's going to run out of ammo if we use it a bit too much. You just got to be careful there. Obviously, we have mine clearing tanks as well, but they're just going to get shot by anti tank guns. We just take our time, basically. Most of Army Group South is actually here. We've kind of advanced into a minefield, and I think this is some of our self propelled artillery. Okay, we have a general. We're getting back to the truck. Yeah, in terms of ammunition, these guys are completely out, of course. But we do have a flak 36. And one little infantry. What is it? What's this thing called? Light infantry gun, or whatever it is called in German. Also, of course, we've accidentally left a Westby here. Yeah. Self propelled artillery. The Russians have left one divisional gun. Got some Tiger tank here with no fuel, but he's stuck in a minefield, of course. We have anti aircraft guns set up around the area. This gun has very short range. Um, you can probably tow it closer. Hmm. Okay, there's no fuel here, but we'll leave the micromanagement for later. Just carefully. Where's the path we took? Yeah, okay. 
carefully get some fuel to the front line. Now, like at Kursk, the Russians use aviation here as well, so... I tried to keep an adequate anti-aircraft defence. There's the officer. Shell this position here. keep killing these trenches as well. I'm just going to do a quick check to see whether I'm recording because I had to do a double take on the intro. Sometimes I don't know what I'm saying. All right, Sam, still going. So what we want to do now is just absolutely flatten these anti-tank guns, but we'll need the general to get here. Get him to his jeep. Sweet. The general's the kind of unit I always envision going over a landmine, of course and then getting himself killed. So we'll shell that position. I'm not sure if we have like a, a Brumbar or a Stug. It's a bit better equipped to deal with these fortifications. general can see a lot. Now we, Army Group South actually got their general assassinated in the last video. He was uh, sniped from a prison. We don't actually have an officer or even a general down there now. So we've got to get those lads some reinforcements. Going on here. So, the fact that this Panthers took a lot of damage indicates either they've got a good anti-tank gun or the presence of some 85mm guns, either anti-aircraft or mounted to the SU-234 tank chassis. There he is, the T-34 still. I feel like this officer is going to get shredded if he goes any closer. So. As long as we keep probing their defences and find the weak point where they've got no good anti tank guns, we don't have a problem. There's an anti-tank man there for sure. What to do? Just bang, bang, bang. Well, boy. Oh look. T34 down. Nice. See if the general now can see what's going on. Oh my, 200, 120 mil mortar. That's some serious firepower. Gotta get rid of that. You could also kill the general. Right, pack 43 has killed him. Very nice. Do we get the self-propelled artillery? Have they not dealt with this gun as well? Oh, 
As usual, no ammunition. That's no problem. I don't know what these guys can do. No, any ammunition in the artillery. Still a gun there, for sure. Oh, ha. SU-85. I don't think it can damage us. No, it's this two gun. That's why its rate of fire was so high, but it can only throw 57mm shells. Which is like nothing. Killed our officer now. This area is cleared of guns, we punch straight through, except you don't really want to go into a minefield. It might be a bit costly to just punch straight through, but... You know. send a mine clearing tank because this is actually the closest like distance between the minefield and the trenches that's why I also chose this position I'll carve out a nice little position for ourselves T-34 down. Ah, oh, straight into a mine. What's this mine clearing vehicle doing? Pretty much got in here though.
Wait, another SU is over there somewhere. Alright. What the hell's that? Let's get the crew out because we're going to need them later. Some Russian anti tank gun just decided to maul our Tiger tank to pieces. Go and see who it is. Let's get him. Let's get into this trench. Yeah, it might have been that they were hitting him in the side. Right, repair trucks then. We've got one. Let's repair the tank. There, we're getting destroyed too. That is the SU-85, just by rate of fire and sound. To find him. Hiding me on that house, you know. It's like there. There are events. Oh, he's took out a Panzer four. Right. There he is. Right, we got him from this position. Good. They're down. Nice. Let's push through the mine later. Where's this lighter caliber gun at? Going from here. So we advance here. We've got to repair this Panzer IV now as well. That's fine. Pretty much took up a good position. No, mortar. We've got to kill that. Yeah, and I feel like these big concrete bunkers have some high caliber Russian anti tank guns in. Or at least 85mm anti aircraft guns. Oh, back, 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 and you can be shot in the side. I'm being shot from like, somewhere in the field. Oh, they're in some of these trenches, though.
You know, I think as well we should have a flam Panzer Wagon 3, which is like that flame, this little Panzer 3 with a flamethrower on it. We don't have any flamethrowers there. Got mortar. Flamethrowers in the houses? Mm, not really. No, there's no flamethrowers there. Where's the flamethrowers when you need them? We'll just send in saboteurs and engineers. It's fine. Mortar down. Good, good. Let's just clear this entire area of mines with a mine clearing vehicle. According to this, we can outflank the Russians just by getting behind them and encircle them. That might or might not work, I'm not sure. We have to take these two little houses here first. This guy got shot in the back. I'm not sure whether this barb yeah this bar boy I means isn't minefield behind them as well. Right, nice. Oh, I think I even killed the anti-tank gun with the tiger. Just from range. Clear this house. Seems like the mine clearing vehicle got itself killed on a landmine somehow. Not sure if that's possible. I mean, that guy needs also a repair. Oh man. Let's see if we get there in time. He's got 90 health, so I imagine so. Oh man, this is getting frustrating with these landmines. I think this is not supposed to happen, but the mine clearing vehicles are just dying on landmines. Now, I'm not sure how effective mine flails are, but I don't think a mine clearing vehicle should be able to die to mines. I mean, otherwise, what's the purpose of the unit? It's Lie on useless. What? I don't know why it's got an attack mode. Him first. Maybe you have to use the attack function? This also, um means that in the game files this guy's classed as a self-propelled gun. I'm not sure if that's something to do with why it won't work. Just gonna suppress the Russians here. Now next obviously we'll mass here, kill these guys and go through again the road because it doesn't look like there's a minefield there. See how far we can get with the tiger tank first. Reichert 
We'll get back from there. Ah, uh -huh. I see. Oh no, it's not. It's a T thirty four. Yeah, there's a few more guns in play here. Yeah, it's a turn around targeter. in the general back over here. If the I'm making a save, if the supply truck blows up I'm not having it. <laughs> Sweet. It's Tiger back in action as well. Some gun shooting us here. We do have more repair trucks and more guys and more mortars, so we are alright for now. See, this area is going to be built up with anti-tank guns, but we can just attack the rear and artillery positions and just camp in the village. It's more suited to our vehicles. Let's start clearing trenches as well. Yeah, we're finding the enemy in all the trenches. Nice to kill the SE while I wasn't even looking. The crewman hiding underneath it. The next shortest point is here. I don't really want to attack for a minefield again. We haven't really got a choice. Was this guy reluctant to do his mine planning? Tell you what, we'll clear the field with engineers. Because they're more reliable. I'm not sure if there's anti-personnel mines, but hopefully there's not. Obviously at Kursk the Russians were expecting the Germans to attack, so they put thousands and thousands of belts of landmines and barbed wire and obstacles down. Yeah, look how many mines are in there. Right, let's take some infantry position. Right. How many tanks are in for repair? Right. Obviously we can set up a little repair shop behind the lines just where they'll get repaired while we're fighting. And then due to the presence of many SUs and Russian tanks, there may or may not be more units to oppose us here. Yeah, we uncovered some enemies in these buildings. No, don't don't let them kill the pioneers because we actually need them. Okay, the crew, the targeter. Oh yeah, it's probably yeah, that is my fault for clearing them out. We could 
do with a flamethrower here really to deal with these guys. They're trying to kill the mine trail in empty tank. Please. Mine flail, sir. Look at all these guys turned around. The pack 43 needs ammo. To keep checking all of these. Some of them are unoccupied, some of them are occupied. So the Russians are kind of just hiding and waiting for us. I noticed though they didn't leave us any... Actually, this is the shortest point. They attack here then. If we draw any fire whatsoever, then we'll just go discover it with the target. Russians want to defend down there, okay, that's fine. I think, yeah, I think actually the mine sweeper takes a little bit of damage each time it runs on a landmine. And obviously it gradually builds up to the point where it will die. Although the Germans don't really look like they've got the mine flail designed down. You see, a flail is a big roller of chains. Looks like the Germans were just using some weighted like wheels to press down on the earth to simulate a tank going over. Whereas the actual flails chop the earth to pieces. So there's with the German one it looks like there's a little more room for error. Especially the Germans as well always wanting to attack. You think they'd have some better mind clearing strategies? But against the Russians, who can lay so many, you're kind of dead anyway. <laughs> you're dead in the water trying to get through a mine field. Okay, these mortars ain't got the best range. I forgot, I've lost my train of thought now. Um, I'm not sure what I was doing. I wanted to attack here. I don't know why I stopped. I was looking for a specific unit. <laughs> it's just gone blank. Forgive me, let's, let's attack here. We might be able to demine like this. Oh, do Russians. Oh, yeah, that was it. That's what it was, sorry. We need a repair truck to repair the mine truck every time it goes on some kind of mine hunting operation. Let's besiege this town. It's a higher caliber mortar, that's what. Let's just kill everyone in the trenches now before we attack this time. Put these bunkers and trenches and stuff under fire as best as possible. I'm going to check the south to see whether they still have that flamethrowing tank. They might have just lost it though. Hmm. Oh, I was hoping. I was hoping it was this, but no, it's just a normal Panzer III. Ah. Yeah, that kind of sucks. Flamethrowers are our best bet against trenches. Well, the quickest solution obviously uh -huh. <laughs> just allowed to run up I really like the MP40 graphics but I don't remember asking someone to go absolute Rambo in there right, 
It seems that they're just shooting at us. So let's get into the town and figure out from where. Take cover behind the house. We know the gun is here somewhere. Let's just shoot all over this area. And they've got an entire defense line over there as well that we need to crack. Do we repair that toilet tank? Yes. We need some kind of siege artillery. Still got the, the light gun over here. Let's bring this in. So what's this? Mortar type. Well, SGRW. Where's the bigger one? Where's it here, look. 120 mil. Here we need that. This area would be nice to capture. Can we not build a pontoon? Nope. Okay. All the tanks here have been repaired while we've been messing around, actually. That's good. Finally get this fuel. Yes. Okay, excellent. Let's go fuel up all the tanks in the south. Right, with this piece of artillery then. We strike some of these positions. These bigger positions look made for a tank, definitely have a tank in them. Send some infantry to clear the trenches now as well. Obviously, some of the infantry heading to houses never made it because they were being killed by the Russians. We'll leave a sniper on that southern position. And we'll just continue to uproot the mines. I would like to call for... Oh man, this mortar's got bigger range than the infantry gun. Put someone else on it. There's some ammunition over here. So, aviation available currently stands at one bomber and two interceptors. And of this area, it's kind of evident that the Russians have, obviously, some big anti-aircraft capabilities. I'm going to make a save and try a daring attack in the rear to capture their artillery. Unless they can just jump in a truck and be quicker. Nope. Yeah, 
Right, we'll take all of these tanks, and my plan is essentially we can strike this artillery by following the railway tracks in part as long as we don't get ambushed. Mind flail, go. I think we have another repair truck just not doing anything somewhere. Yeah, this one. Oh, I was just messing with it. Let's just. Some more health. I don't know what's going on with this thing. Right. Let's get everyone across the uh, field of death first. I think there was a reason I told you to go in between these two points. <laughs> Maybe so you don't end up like this guy. I hope we cleared all the mines. <laughs> I'm going to personally head out to Kursk with a set of orange cones just to guide these guys because you know there'll be an accident if I wasn't like babysitting them. <laughs> That's what I love about this game. It's difficult when you have to micromanage everything. Ruskids, let's go. No, 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 no. Not that way. They are actually in these houses, are they? This house will be the same, though, that's the thing. Once we've done flattening the houses, let's get the rest of our guys over here. And now we follow the train tracks over to this field. That's where we can assemble. Actually, because we're not even supposed to be here, I'm just going to mine that road. You aiming at? Okay, someone needs crew. We can just stay there by the road. No fuel, of course. Right, in terms of supplies then, let's, let's start fixing this issue now, before it becomes a major issue. As for fuel, we'll take all these guys and a repair truck. Right then guys, 
As long as the entire surrounding area is clear of Russians, you can strike this artillery position in the rear. Obviously, I can't just zip around here because of this minefield. Now, I did bring a general on a panther tank. I haven't the slightest idea where he is. See. Oh, where is the. So there's. There's either two options. No, oh, he is. Okay. <laughs> He's either in the tank or he's dead. Clear. Send some scouts in. These supplies get here as well. No, no, no. I need to redo that because he might just drive to his death. as far as they've got to go, for sure. Now, set the Panthers in position. Now, I'm not sure if there's any mines here, but we might be able to just quickly get through, and then we'll just usurp their entire defence from behind. Obviously, there could be Russians anywhere, and this is like the rear of the area we have to actually capture. So we want to be careful they don't get any reinforcements. I did uh, want to give some more ammunition to the mortar as well. These repair vehicles too. You can head down here and start repairing things. We'll just send the armoured one for now. In general, I can't see anything. There's nothing there. Interesting. So they're just empty caponiers there for the rest of the Hammer. Genius Russians. Hmm, right. So you've still got the same objectives, it's still this area. It's obviously extended all the way over here as well, so we're going to have even more anti tank guns and stuff for us to deal with. There's the limit of where we can go. Can't. I think I'm going to pause the video there a second. I just need to grab something to eat. <laughs> 